Hello and welcome back. I've been just busting out videos, sorry. So I uh, found some interesting answers from chat GPT. So I thought I'd share them. Uh, I first started, I asked, could you please just tell me tell me about Ragnarok? And just to see what it would say, basically said the same kind of stuff. And then I said, how old is this myth? And they said around the eighth to eleventh centuries. And I said, and they basically said, uh, passed down orally for generations. Importantly, and I said, is it possible that it's thousands of years old? Then it is possible. Go back further than the Viking Age, so it's possible it goes back even before a cataclysm that did in fact happen, and then like. The tradition is passed on. I don't know why it would be passed on without like an understanding that it had passed, but maybe. <clears throat> but then I just changed subjects. What is the feature in the ocean floor called that surrounds Island Guadalupe? This one. So this feature. It said, Guadalupe Island Volcanic Ridge. Guadalupe Island Volcanic Ridge. Okay, so that one's a little smaller. If we if we look here, that one's a little smaller than this one. This one down here, as a try as I might, it, the GP, the chat GPT could not give me an answer for anything related to this region. So it's almost like this isn't even known or named. But anyway, let's go on. The feature, what is the feature that, that surrounds Socorro Island, which is the next one over here. So here's Socorro Island. So I asked that one and they said, it said Socorro Island Ridge. So both times it basically just added the name, the word Ridge. I don't know if it's actually called that, uh, but it, Interestingly, I found in this image, Rivera Fracture Zone, East Pacific Rise. Mathematician Ridge. Oh my god. Mathematician Ridge. Of Florida, it said. So it does not include the whole of the structure. I mean, it's, it just doesn't. But it does capture a good amount of it down to this, this here. These ones are considered separate, so I guess they don't acknowledge this, and that this overall has a very similar shape to this, having uh, connections across that also is very much like this one, having connections across, and then this slice down the middle, and then down here, this one, same thing. Is, but just bigger with the slice down the middle. But so when I asked Chat GPT what this was, they said the, the Nazca Ridge, and then I said, I'm looking for something north. I basically said 1,600 miles west of Lima, Peru. And then they said Nazca Ridge, which is over here. 
So I said, I'm looking north of Easter Island, 1,300 miles. And they said that the Sala A. Gomez Ridge, which, which is here, which is cool, that is giving me names of things that I didn't even know and can like now easily search. It's pretty good, pretty useful just for that alone that I can find like names of places. Like, what is this formation called here? And just like. But yeah, so we got some names. Uh, I figured uh, Clipperton Ridge, East Pacific Rise System. Maybe let's try to find this paper. 1973. Good sign if it's on ResearchGate. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Within the framework of plate tectonics, we as much as assumed from the first sentence. Fuck. That's okay. Sorry, guys. Do not agree. Magnetic data do not agree with the topographic age of the axial shift, but rather support a radical shift in the position of the axis between 10 and 15 million years BP, which is really when this. Um, uh, Colombian flood basalt system is happening. Like, it's certainly suggestive that there's something going on here while there's something going on there. That's, that's a good sign. If, if this region is showing, like, active processes, when we, the first thing we find that are relating it to the time frame up here, Mathematician Ridge, Clipperton Ridge, okay. Clipperton Ridge is south of here. I don't think it's this one. It might be another name for that. It looks too directly below it. East Pacific Rise. Galapagos. Galapagos here, East Pacific Rise. So that's probably Clipperton Ridge, or maybe it's over here. Maybe, let's see. I just don't see any ridges over there. Seems like it's further over Clipperton Ridge, Clipperton Island. Let's just see where the island is. Oh, maybe it's something, something here. It showed it this way, so maybe, maybe it's this portion. I think this is mathematician. Yeah, it's probably the lower portion. Mathematician Ridge uh, has a smooth, continuously deepening, deepening slopes. Clear difference in physiography between the seamounts at 14 degrees north and the ridge at 16 degrees north. We ran a north-south seismic reflection profile on the flanks of both features. Top topography drops from an unsedimented shallow northern section, which is the flank of the fossil spreading center, to the well-sedimented flanks of the seamount province. One side has a bunch of sediments, like there was deposits, the other doesn't. Like there was something blocking the deposits. Like some overlayer that was forcing the flows in the other direction. And 
anomaly five associated with section of easements did not jump when the Clipperton Ridge Center jumped seven and a half million years before present. When the Mathematician Ridge jumped to the present system four million years BP. Termination corresponds to traumatic kink in the 4,000 meter contour toward the East Pacific Rise crest at this latitude. Figure 1. Not the best paper, I guess. In terms of it's pretty old. No offense. Pardon me, guys. Thanks. <laughs> so this is probably Clipperton Rise, maybe? Or Ridge? So we want the Rivera Fracture Zone. Let's see what that says. Right lateral moving dextral transform fall, which lies along the seafloor, runs between two segments of the East Pacific Rise, forming the southwest boundary of the small Rivera Plate. Fault is broken into two segments, bisected by a short rifting zone. see any bisection unless it's talking about the other one too <clears throat> I'm gonna have to check out scholar or transform fault MSS. Swath bathymetry, along with available earthquake slip vectors, suggests the existence of three distinct rectilinear segments along the Rivera fracture zone. Trend differently instead of delineating a continuous small circle segment. <clears throat> Not a transform fault is currently accepted, but an accommodation zone between two different spreading systems. Western segment, which trends nor at north 52 degrees west, belongs to the San Andreas and Gulf of California transform system. Eastern segment, trending north 85 degrees west, belongs to the East Pacific Rise system. And the central segment, trending north 72 degrees west, connects the western and eastern segments. One, two, three. This one's got three. I think they're talking about this, though. I just don't see it unless it's more than this structure. Like, maybe here and over here and here. I don't know.
deep sea sulfide ore deposits. Something, I don't know. <laughs> ore grade zinc, copper, and iron, iron sulfide have been found at the axis of the East Pacific rise. Is there a map? Baja, California. Have been found basically here. So this is, there's a ridge here. the East Pacific rise. The cuts in goes over like that. We can see it much clearer up here doing that. So it must be going generally through here. Okay. There's <clears throat> ores there. Whoa. Despite the difference in detail and in scale between the East Pacific rise deposits and the Cypress ores, there are enough general similarities in the type and style of metal con concentration to regard the EPR deposits as a modern analog of the zinc-rich copper massive sulfide deposits associated with Ophiolite complexes, the EPR ore deposits, which have their primary features still preserved and which have been emplaced in a well, well-defined geological setting directly associated with plate accretion, should shed a new light on the characteristics of genetic models for Ophiolitic sulfide ore deposits, such as found in Cyprus, Newfoundland, California, Turkey, and Italy. Cyprus, Newfoundland, California, Turkey, and Italy. These ones kind of, like these four, Newfoundland too, just across the conjoined ocean, like distance. Cypress is an island in here, right? There it is. Turkey, Cyprus. Cyprus? <laughs> Cyprus, Cyprus. Italy. And then Newfoundland. Not sure why it would skip everything else. Dust shadow. Okay, so that so there's iron. I mean, and just deposits related, like heavy metal deposits. Maybe I don't know. If heavy metals. Zinc, copper, iron. Heavy metal deposits. Okay. Heavy metal sulfide deposits. Discordance. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good word. One more. To better define the morphotectonic elements and tectonic development, just straight up to apply the data to tectonics, plate tectonics. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for Earth expansion to be at least, like, obligatorily mandatory, like, mandatory almost, to, like, participate in this discussion to at least see those two sides and not just, like, play tectonics. Because it really makes it, like, there's no alternative so to the point where, like, this is what happens. It's not even too 
to see if tech plate tectonics applies is just to apply the data to plate tectonics as best as we can. Anyway, let's see what's up. Part of me again. Sorry, guys, for judging your works. I appreciate it all, and it's all meant to be as it is, and I'm sorry for me. Hugs. Okay. Uh, Seafloor, backscatter, multi channel seismic reflection, total field marine magnetic data were collected along the entire Riv Rivera transform west of 107 West. One oh seven, yep. Let's see. Yep, yep. Okay, so pretty much starting right at this corner. <clears throat> These data show that although the transform tectonized tectonized zone of the Rivera transform west of is a single, single continuous morphologic basin. This basin consists of two distinct morphotectonic domains. An east domain, which is morphologically, is a deep rhombochasm within which organized seafloor spreading has occurred, and a western leaky transform domain. Support the idea that the Rivera Pacific Euler Pole is migrating southwards towards the eastern half of the Rivera Transform. Further indicate a recent 0.14 and most likely ongoing clockwise, clockwise reorganization of the principal transform displacement zones of the Rivera Transform west of 108. We propose that the discordance owes its origin to this eastward progression, progressing clockwise reorganization of the transform segments that is occurring in response to recent changes in Rivera Pacific relative plate motion. Earthquake epicenter locations, lots of them there. Lots of them there. Not as many at the center or there. Maybe bigger ones down here than the many small ones there though. Ship tracks. Bathymetric relief map. Deepest in the west. Substantially less deep there with like channels through though. Just thinking if a current's coming out and it's turning to the side, like it maybe would end up over time, like producing a deeper fill, more fill on this side because of like if it's coming across this way and bending, it's gonna like build a boundary on this side and more so than this side. That maybe will like move that way and create something of that nature. Even even all of the whole length of it even. Like this might be actually the whole length to that corner there. Or no, 107. 107. Okay, okay. I don't know what to make of this except for what I just said. Seismic reflection profile, northwest, southeast. Whoa, it looks like there's a layer here that continues down here and then has an overlayer of deposited sediments on top, maybe. 
and was eroded somewhat. Like it was more here, it got eroded down, but new deposits on top, maybe. <clears throat> Although northwest, southeast, it's kind of going this way to this way, maybe. Still the same general thing, I guess, where this bend had like a lot of current going down it, so maybe it carved in, but it also built material on top. Northwest, southeast, western, eastern, eastern. Nodal basin. A node. Inactive spreading ridge, question mark. Or just filled ridge by deposits. Leaky transform basin is a northwest southeast elongated ellipsoid structure roughly 100 kilometers long. 18 kilometers wide, 109, maybe, let's say, I was really hoping that would copy it, what the, why did that not copy this? Just need that symbol. Degree symbol. I used to know it back in the day, doing that patent examining. Mm -hmm. Let's say nineteen point seven seven north. Okay, what was it saying? <laughs> to, okay. From here... To what is it? To 108... To 5, around the, around the middle. Okay, so what's up? Leaky transform basin is greater than the ITBS. Did I not? Oh, at ITSB. Intra transform spreading basin. Figure five. boundaries of the I so like I assume the far end it just says boundaries but it doesn't it's got to be like a boundary <sighs> oh, I'm 2.15 million years. 2 million. I wonder when it first started forming. I think we saw at least 15 MA. I think it was like right in the beginning. I think that was another paper then. There's a different paper. Let's just see what the conclusions say. I'm gonna go to bed.
Main conclusions of the study include transformed zone of the Rivera transform west of that corner is a single continuous morphologic basin. However, this basin consists of two distinct morphotectonic domains. Eastern domain characterized okay, and a western leaky transform domain. Initiation, initial formation was not instantaneous, developed between 2 and 1.4 ma. The transform consisted of a pair of overlapping fault segments. How did they... Began to reorient. So it started to rotate two million. Okay, I gotta go to bed before I get all caught up in the anomalies of things. Alright. Till then.